something like that. My wife didn't know because we couldn't get it on the counter. Right? That's one of those sticks to find water. I went straight through my counter. Go ahead, Bernie. It didn't work so well. Back in there and warm it up so we can put it on camera. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of, I learned a little, I mean, it like came with a kid. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm like, I don't think so. What's happening, everybody? I didn't use it all. I didn't use it all. I'm getting picked on already. Hi. Welcome to the April 7th. Vegas Valley Four Wheelers Bonfire slash meeting. You know, it's never, uh, every event has to have a bonfire, so here we are. Hey, Blair. Hey, Dana. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm doing my best to see who's on, who's not. Um, so here we are. It's a beautiful night so far. You can see there's just a few clouds in our beautiful sky. The Vegas sun is getting ready to set. We've got, oh, about a good half an hour. Um, hey, Kaylee, I know I said it wrong. Uh, about a half hour before the sun sets. So we're gonna have a great time. So for those that are new, we'll wait a minute. We got some people walking up. We've got some old faces, some new faces, and that's okay. Lots of old faces. We got some new people. I know. Hang on. Somebody said that this is an old face? I don't know. It's all right. Said the old, well, wait a minute. Yeah, there's older than me over there. We had this wonderful conversation about age around a bonfire not too long ago, so. All right. I'm hearing stereo. What? Oh, okay, running it? Okay. Well, again, welcome everybody. Uh, for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Kevin Bailey, I'm the club president. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Hi. Over here is Scott Harwood, our trail boss. Nobody like, yeah. <laughs> Courtney Abercrombie, our secret treasurer. I still can't get that right. Fired. I'm fired. Yes! <laughs> yes! You can't fire the president until next week. You can only yeah. impeach him. Only impeach, only impeach. We have <laughs> Tiffany, there's our secretary. We have Leslie, who is our webmaster. Uh, and then all these wonderful members that are here tonight and guests. So I want to welcome everybody out. What? what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, hey, Aaron, how are you doing? Glad you had an awesome day at work. I can read. Okay, we're going along. All right. Um, for those that are new, first time coming out, on the back of my pickup truck bed is a sign in sheet. Please, members, sign in on the left, guests, sign in on the right. Please make sure that you include your email address so we can send you. Oh, Courtney's going to pass it around instead of making people get up. All right, that'll work. Um, please make sure you write down your email address so that we can uh, include you in all the marketing information, the club notes that get sent out. Tonight we have, for the first time we have in a while, we have a raffle prize. And tonight's raffle prize is... When you want the paid one? Yeah, the paid. Hey, we have a camping Java press. Ooh. I don't know what this does because I don't it like It presses puppy. your Java. <laughs> Kevin could have used this a little while ago. Some lighter cubes for the cat <laughs> with the price tag on it. That's all right. And it is a peck sink. So Ooh. that's into a square sink for camping. Kevin probably wants this. No, I'm going to. bring a big old bucket. I bring a big old bucket. So okay. we got some camping goodies. Some camping goodies. And for those of you that are online, 
you can't buy the raffle tickets for that. Right. You have to be here in person to be able to do that. They are a dollar a piece or six for five. Do we have a door prize? We have a door prize. Okay. So, and everybody that's in attendance tonight, whether you are young or old, old. Wow. Uh, Why do you look at you, Mike? Because I could get away with it. We have it's an admin thing, man. from our good friends, Factor 55, and I'm going to get it wrong, but it's called a FID. It is what you need to relace your synthetic winch line. You put it together and you're able to do a repair of putting your winch line back together. So a huge shout out to our friends at Factor 55 for sending us tonight's door prize. So Courtney will give everybody a separate ticket for that. And we're gonna do that drawing in a little bit. So we're doing a couple things at once, so just hang on. Somebody's even got marshmallows out here. Like I said, it's a beautiful night. I want to give a big shout out to all the sponsors that support our club and our events that we put on Hump and Bump. Our bragging rights sponsors, Vegas 4x4 and Off-Road. Our Rock Gods, All Hose Inc., American Off-Road Customs, SWF Motorsports. Our Platinum sponsors, LV Sweet Homes Realty, Wicked Wrench Motorsports, Arm Brewster Industries, 4WP, Sin City Diesel and Off-Road, Scorpion Motorsports, Arvada Springs, Palmetto Club. Poof! Gold sponsors. We have Moonlight Productions, all kinds of insurance, BG Projects of Southern Nevada, the Federal Savings Bank, Clayton Off Road, Rockslide Engineering, Ahern Rentals, our silver sponsors, Heat Beaters Headlines, Headliners, Las Vegas Rock Callers, Code 4 LED Supplied, Wild West Guns, Southern Tire Mart, Rugged. Ridge, JE Real Drive Line, our bronze sponsors, Factor 55, ANI, Cindy K Agency, Friends of Hump and Bumps, up George, Aaron Layla Jewelers, JM Rigging, Crazy Quilters, Jeep Jamboree USA, Yukon Gear and Axles, and let's not forget our we, we have a vendor level sponsors. Flyboys approve this message. Well, hang on. You're in trouble now. And those wonderful vendors level. Winter 4x4 Jamboree. War Machine 702. Scorch Racing LV. Rugged Radio. Power Tank. Joaquin Messina Snap-On. Colby Valve. My Medic. Turnkey Power Train. Bubba Rope. 12 Volt Guy. Extreme Terrain. Onyx Off-Road, Sun Buggy, Five Star Auto Detailing LLC, Rock Jock by John Curry, Havoc Off-Road, Pro Gun Vegas, High Lift, Gorilla Whips, Ultra 4, Issued LV Scalers, Carnage Welder, Vegas HID, Axel Off-Road USA, Terraflex, JKS Manufacturing, Lori Sells Nevada, Sin City Design by Cat and Brian, Aces and Owls, the Trail Hero, and Trail Hound Smokers. What a list. Remember that, folks, support those that support the sport.
Now at this wonderful time, we're gonna get our guests that are here tonight to introduce yourselves. So if this is your first, second, or third time and you're a guest here at our event, we'd like to know your name, what do you drive, where do you like to wheel, is your rig dirty or clean, and what size tires do you have? All right, Mike and Carrie. Hi. And um, this is our, our rig over here, we got 35s. Um, um, we, we came out with you guys out to, to Logandale, you guys, guys have terrified us, but it was a blast. <laughs> yeah. um, Job well done. Uh, we, we watch our car um, Weekly. every weekend after we bring it back. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, we got some more guests over here. Okay, guests, I saw you guys come up, so... What's your name? What do you drive? How'd you hear about this? Clean or dirty? Tire size? Um, we drive a, a Jeep Rubicon. We just got it in 2018. And, um, tire size? I don't, what's that? Tire size? I think it's 33. 33s, probably. Yeah, I think it's got a three, eight, three and a quarter inch lift kit on it. Okay. And your names? My name's Mark. This is my wife, April. And my son, Brendan, looks gross in the marshmallow. There we go. And we heard about you. Uh, I saw you on Facebook. Okay. So, well, welcome. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Tyler. Uh, I got this Jeep Rubicon bone stock right now. Stock okay. Uh, not quite dirty enough. Um, here and uh, first time here, guest uh, Dev. All right, awesome. Well, welcome. And guests. Hi. 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 <laughs> got to keep doing it. Got the old lady here. 37 Blazer, 35. 35s. She's always dirty. Always dirty. And we'll go anywhere. We'll we go will. Anywhere. Yeah, All right. Tease us with a good time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, again, thank you. Uh, for those that are interested in joining Vegas Valley Four Wheelers, we are the oldest and the largest uh, off wheel drive, off, off highway, oh, wow, four wheel drive club in Southern Nevada. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Yeah, you just get old. Uh, to join the club, you have to attend three meetings, three runs, all in about three months. We kind of, we understand with what's been going on that we play the three months a little light right now. Um, membership has its benefits. It's discounted rates on our club wear. It's free events like our Logandale event where all you got to do is pay for the camping that we took care of, and then we had dinner at night. So there are benefits to joining Vegas Valley Four Wheelers, plus the camaraderie of this crew. Woo! All right. We do meet the first and third Wednesday of every month. Currently, we, as you can see, we are out here at the Nellis Dunes area because we can't meet indoors yet because we can't have enough room for everybody. So we will continue to meet outdoors up this way for at least one more meeting and we'll figure out what we're gonna do when we get into May. One of the things we love to talk about is our wheeling experiences of where we've been and what we've done. So has anybody been out wheeling since the last meeting? Okay, those that have been out wheeling, where have you been and what you've been? What have copper you done? Cash. You ran Copper Cash today. Yeah. Me, Blair, and Dina, and Blake and Vicky. Okay, very good. You, nobody break. Everybody have a good time. All right. Where have you guys been out to? Been five days out in Glamis Sand Dunes. I haven't been out there in like 20 years. It was a blast. High horsepower toys and jumping and playing. And it was a good time. Very good. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, hey, Mel. Hey, Paul. How you doing? Aaron. Good to see you on here, too. Yeah, Paulo. I know you were at 52. So we will uh, keep that one in our pocket for another day. Hi, Danielle. Hey, Mike. Making sure I'm clicking through so I can say hi to everybody. It's online. We got a few. Um, so anybody else been out? 
Nobody else has been out. All right. Oh, that's right. Where'd you guys go? We spent three days in a Death Valley. We went over Overland Pass and some stuff like that. And how was the event? A good time? Oh, and at Logandale? It was a blast. Sweet. All right. Hello, everybody from Easter Jeep Safari that has just jumped on and said hello. And then I heard somebody say Bronco Falls. I know that got run two weekends ago. It's the same. It's the same. The rocks haven't moved. Hasn't changed. Everybody went up. Everybody went down. No scratches, no damage, no carnage. The only carnage I had is my mom didn't close the door, so my step didn't go up. Ah. Does it go up and down now? It does now. There we go. That's all that matters. Um, I know there was a bunch of people at Easter Jeep Safari. They had a good time. So for those that uh, that missed out on the Logandale weekend, we had about 25 people on Friday night and about 30 on Saturday night. We did get out and do a little wheeling. We ran over to the Weiser Valley and scooted up over the Matterhorn, some people that were relatively new to off-roading got an opportunity to experience running up the Matterhorn and some of the extra side obstacles as they were going around. It was definitely a fun day by all. Uh, the weather in Logandale. Hey Matt, tell me what you think about the wind in Logandale. <laughs> Needless, yeah, great in the well. Wait a minute, the motorhome that that didn't have any heat, no heat in the motorhome. Hey Mitchell, Wally probably planted that way. Yeah, Wally had a shower, took a hot shower. Yeah, Clyde had the Golden Knights game going on Friday night. So, so as you can see, we had an awesome uh, trip. And again, it was just something that we put together for the club to get out and have a good time. So putting this out there for everybody to know, um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be going on in the community. But let me get to... I'll go backwards in dates. I'm going to jump all the way to the Father's Day weekend event. That will be June 18th to the 20th, where Vegas Valley Four Wheelers is taking over Arvada Springs. Arvada Springs is located approximately two hours northeast of Las Vegas. It's in the Gold Butte Monument area setting on the Nevada-Arizona border. We have taken over the entire facility. Um, we're, again, the, it, you, can bring, you can rent all of that on your own. You can bring your, your off-road vehicle to wheel. You can bring your tow vehicle up and just drive down the road and enjoy the weekend. A little bit of everything going on uh, within Arvada Springs there is a cement pond that is spring fed so the water is 58 degrees all year long with a uh, slide to go into the pool they have hot yeah there's that's a single they have flushing toilets. They have showers. You will be able to come up for the weekend. You can bring all your own camping gear and camp out in their orchard. You can rent one of the 10 glamping tents, which will include a king size bed for, and floor spaces for up to two cots or an air mattress. Swamp coolers and wood burning stoves. You do have to bring your own bedding. You will be able to rent the family camping room, which has 
two twin beds, a queen bed, and bunks, has a full attached bathroom with a swamp cooler and heat. Uh, we do have spaces for RVs. It would be on a boondocking situation. There is some power and some water. There is no sewer dumps for RVs. Uh, for those that are tent camping, you will have all the amenities available to you, including showers and ba uh, bathrooms. Arvada Springs has a full-size commercial kitchen for us to be able to use. So all of the amenities are going to be there. We are, limited, we are limiting this event to 75 people. So it's a first come, first serve. We will have the registration site open by the 13th of April. And again, all of the sites that, whether it be one of the miners tents or the cabin or the family t uh, cabin, cabin will be a first come first serve basis. So as soon as we go live, if you're thinking you want one of those extras, instead of bringing your own tent or your RV up, um, you're gonna wanna get in on that. This is April 18th to the 20th. You'll be able to, April, or I'm sorry, June 18th through the 20th. You will be able to get in as early as 8 a.m. on Friday. For those of you that have never driven out to Gold Butte, it is a paved-ish road pretty much all the way for the last five miles to get to Arvada Springs. And the last five miles are just like driving down the Logandale Trailhead from Liston to the bathrooms. It's a graded gravel road. So if you wanted to bring a Class C or even a Class A, you'll be able to get them down the roadway. Um, again, all the information, pictures are about Arvada Springs and all the accommodation lists will go out in the registration email. Yeah. 75 people total. If we need to open up a little bit, I'm just going to limit it to 75 to start. All righty. This weekend, Saturday at 9 o'clock, we are testing out a new route within the Logandale Trail System. Uh, we are looking to create a three to four rated trail. Uh, the next step up from 13 mile is what we're after. Uh, three to four rated trail, minimum tire size is 31. No lockers are required. Uh, will require the mixture of four low and four high. Some off camber sections, some ruts, some loose, steep gravel rock area. There will be an uh, introduction to some of the rocks in Logandale as part of this trip. Why you smile the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> He's just waiting it for looks the comments. Like the suspect. <laughs> out to draw? He's always suspect. What? Out to draw. I think you changed the three to four trailer and turned it into a seven or eight. No. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. I have no problem with that. I, again, we only offer one three to four rated trail within the Logandale trail systems during our major event, a hump and bump. We need to offer something more to the folks that want to come out and experience Logandale. Oh, that's, <laughs> I am looking at, at mapping this new route to be able to submit. I'm going to do my best not to squirrel. <laughs> Yeah, well, if Jim was here, Broadbent, we definitely know it'd be squirrel, squirrel. Let's not squirrel because then I can Well, if you bring Lou, it would be a great test to make sure that we keep this at a three to four. Okay, I'll bring Lou. You'd make it, no problem. I remember when squirreled and ended up at the top of that hill going. Yeah, we've been there. Okay. What time was that? It's 9 o'clock at Logandale. 
This, hearing it live right now, is the only, and then a snort, a short snippet in our email that goes out is all you're going to, snorts. I should not have given up drinking for the month of April. Yeah. I'm, I'm snoring my words. All right. Um, the next couple events, we are meeting at the Shell gas station on the corner of Whipple and Wapa Valley Boulevard, 9 a.m. Some of us might be camping afterwards. Okay. What? That's the Green Valley Grocery. Give me an address. I have no idea where it is. Yeah. Yeah, the, the wonderful, well, we used to call it um, Wally's. Yeah, but now it's just the Green Valley Grocery. Uh, we are all uh, should be aware of what tragedy happened uh, last Sunday down in uh, Golden Valley. So the next couple events are some of the things that are happening down there. There is a memorial parade and run this Sunday, the 11th, starting at 1.30 from the Kingman Visitor Center. Uh, that is to honor the memory of the three people, Ginger, Wes, and Larry, that lost their life in the tragic vehicle accidents. Um, there's more information on our calendar at vv4w.org forward slash events about it. Also, the following Saturday, April 17th, at 8.30 a.m., starting from Griffith Road in Golden Valley. They're they are rerunning the Black Inky Trail, which is what the wheelers were on the day of the accident. Uh, there is more information about that on our Facebook page. It's also on our events calendar with links to the information about them. Now for some good news. Saturday, May 8th, starting at 2 p.m., is the Trailhound Smokers Spring Barbecue Benefiting Canine for Warriors. Um, what did you say? Delicious? Yes. Canine or um, Trailhound Smoke? Yeah. Canines for Warriors, yeah. Trailhound Smokers definitely does put out a very good spread. Um, that is May 8th at 2 30 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The annual spring barbecue is held at the Trailhound Smokers facility on Monroe. It's on the east side of the valley. All of their donations and proceeds from the event goes to Canine for Warriors. They're limiting the attendance this year due to the current restrictions. Yep. Please remember that if you need uh, the barcode to RSVP, you can grab it from our email. You can grab it from the events page at vv4w.org forward slash events on Saturday, May 8th. Again, you need to register for that event. Here comes more. All right. Um, further on down the list, October 2nd through 9th is Trail Hero in San Hollow. And October 28th through the 31st is the 40th annual Hump and Bump powered by Vegas 4x4 and Off Road. Oh, huh? Again? Still? We do that every year. Come on. Um, Remember, if you want to... Oh.
If you are within the off-road community and you want to have an event put on the community calendar, please email us at info at vv4w.org and we will share that on the calendar and then add it to the club's notes if you'd like it so that it goes out to the database for everybody to see it. If you would like to get out and wheel, get a hold of Scott. Let him know you would like to go somewhere so a trip can get put together and get put out on the calendar. Yeah, we're actually thinking about doing the Sam Howell next weekend. Um, I'll put something together. Okay. Probably go out Friday night and then wheel Saturday and come back Saturday. Okay, so. I don't know, I gotta look. Yeah, yes. there is a Wee Rock, I think. Oh, there is? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe it'll be the fall. In the next few weeks, trying to get out before it gets hot. One last time in 10 the We Rock event is the weekend of the 24th. Oh, okay. It's the same weekend as LS Fest here at the Speedway. Okay. Anything else? That's the only disadvantage of being out here. It's different. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah, give them, give them a little bit of love. Shift them around the other direction. Uh, Courtney, which one do you want to do first? Uh, paid raffle. Okay, uh, paid raffle. And I, and I was told to tell everybody hi. Uh, hi, Cindy. Hi, all right, ready, everybody? One, two, three. Hi, hi Cindy. Uh, all right, we got everybody, I think. Burn it. Pink ticket. 520. Four. Uh -huh. Three. No. Oh. Seven. No. Oh, I got it. Oh, 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 I did. Plans, plans. And I was supposed to get those tickets. That's what she told us last time. What I win. That's what she told us last time. I know. She like bypassed me. Us. You can burn it. Oh, she gave you the I don't have change thing? Yeah. Oh, she's infamous for that. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Hauser's not here to sell it to the highest bidder. All right. Yeah. And then the Factor 55 FID. All right. That's the yellow tickets. So that'll be the first piece of equipment to go with your recovery gear. No, the FID. That's it. So when you come to Logandale this weekend, we'll show you how to use it. Thank you, Justin and Factor 55, for that awesome door prize. All right. What do we... I'm like, wait a minute. Time up. All right. Anything else? Who has one for sale? Okay. Uh, there's a Jeep. I sold All right. Uh, All right. <laughs> so if you're looking for a JKU. There's a JKU for sale. So hang on. Tommy, you want to tell us about your JKU? Uh, it, is, it, is, it, has it has 114,000 miles on it, 37s, three and a half inch lift. He's beating the crap out of it. Winch, 513 gears, rear lockers. Shh. Uh, if you're interested, get in contact with me. I don't have like a real price yet. Just just throw money at it. I got a dollar. He's a starving daddy. Yeah, starving daddy needs diaper money. All right, who else has got stuff for sale? Stuff for sale? 
Snorkel kit for a JK? Snorkel kit for a JK? What's newer than that? JL. Okay, snorkel kit for JL. So, see David. Anybody else got anything for sale? Okay, tow bar for a YJ CJ. Free to a good home. I have a set of wheels and tires like Lulu has. Lulu's going to have four wheels and tires on this next week. All right, I heard somebody say RC cars. Yeah, we got lots of them for sale. $6. The whole room. The whole room's for sale. All right, better start posting pictures. All right, anything else for sale? Kevin's got one 35 inch, 1250, BMW stickers on it still. Okay. Say it again. Where are the other four? They're 37. Yeah, the other four were 37. So say it again. You know what? I'll forget. BMW stickers on it still. Okay. How much? 200. 200 bucks. Okay. Suzette and Wally, KM2. How much 420? Three. Okay. How much 420? All right, anything else? Okay. Folks, thanks for joining in online. We appreciate you spending a little bit of time with us. Remember, we Vegas Valley Four Wheelers meets the first and third Wednesday of the month at 6.30. We're currently meeting out at the Nellis Dunes area, about 1.5 miles south of the Las Vegas Boulevard and the I-15 exit. Just come back down to the south and we're on the east side of the road. We will be posting up our upcoming events on the VV4W forward slash events page. Uh, watch for us coming forward and look forward to seeing everybody soon. Be safe on the trail. Peace out.